So today is day number five here in Saigon and today is my last full day because I fly out tomorrow morning and I am skipping breakfast at the hotel today since I want to try out uh, more restaurants. So we're gonna have breakfast first somewhere. I really want some legit egg coffee so hindi na ako kakain or hindi na ako iinom dun sa yung hindi legit na little Hanoi. But um, we're gonna go back to that cafe muna, yung sobrang rich talaga. And then after that, I wanna go to this vegetarian place that my friend Sam B posted. It's called the Hum Vegetarian. So perhaps that one or the Propaganda Cafe Bayon. Yeah, so I have a list. Oh, that reminds me. I need to get my list. Teka lang. It's in here, right? Where's my pocket? <gasps> okay, it's gone. I think I lost that paper. I'm not sure where it is, but it's fine. I took note the man of the names of the restaurants and I have them. Uh, Sambi saved them via Instagram stories, highlighted. So, my guide brain ako. For today, I am wearing athleisure. I ran, I think, no, hindi ako nag run out of clothes, but the only clothes I have left kasi dresses na, and there's no way I can wear them because. Um, I mean, there is a way, but I don't want to because my shorts or my dresses are short and I still need to ride some motorcycles to get around the city and I don't want to be wearing a dress. But um, today I am wearing a sports bra from Uniqlo, same bag from Japan. I have pants from Forever 21 and I wrapped my Adidas jacket around my waist. Let's go, guys. I kind of slept in today. This morning lang ako nag-complete ng mga posts ko on Instagram. I don't really mind like posting all at once. Photo dumping, it's totally fine by me. And I also completed um, the stories. Naka-highlight lahat. Let's go! Daming tubig. This is one of their water brands here. The Sunny. Mok Wong Dong Chai. Super love ko yung staff ng Akoya. Parang naging friends ko na sila ng Wong Wong Wong. Love it! Let's go! And every morning, look how busy all the like side street markets are. And then this one, the ala namin gagabi. I'm not super sure kung ano siya. Baka pagoda. I think so. But look at that, so pretty. I'm grabbing a bike, 12,000 Vietnamese stall. And the palings na sabi nilang masarap po, pizza for peace. Masarap dun mga pizza jan. Perhaps I'll try it later. It's super near Ben Han Market, which is right over there. And I sat on the second floor. Super cute because I'm really interested in the girl look. It's so cute. It's small. First visit to the hotel, just as a whole. I'm going to go to the hotel. But now I'm here. I'm doing them. Again, for table, they provide you with free sanitizer. So, if you want to get a coffee, look for this one. I'll have the address and the information box. I think legit. For breakfast today, I'm having the egg coffee. Super legit. I love this so much. And then we have avocado toast.
again, remember this alleyway. Street and then right. Okay, let us try it. Street na yun, guys, that's called Boy Vien Street. Usually uh, backpackers area siya and and daming mga bars and stuff like that. I'm walking towards this um park that I found on the maps. Straight lang naman. Straight to straight, I think about five blocks. And then right. So sa corner na to, meron ding little Hanoi egg coffee. Pero ibang branch lang yata to. So parang pareho naman yung card nila, yellow din. Yeah. There are mga public toilets over here. This is crossing ng New Yen Tri and Ton Pato. And then this street naman, ito na yung street na Benthan. That is where Akoya is right here. Itong street na to. So I am just walking in this really quiet street. Um, getting lost, which is fine. I think this is the way to the park. I'm not super sure. Also, tapos hindi yung mga coffee shops nila. Lahat ng chairs facing the door. And, yeah. and they sit on really small chairs. This cafe I always see like everywhere. Guta Cafe. I think I wanna try it. Let's get iced coffee. Okay, so we have to cross dun yung park. And I think I'm gonna just find coffee na lang dun na mas local. So, walang pedestrian stop sign. So, we have to do this. Wait lang. Is it? Is this the one? Um, ah, and they wait. Parking yata yan. Aww, close daw. Okay, close. So, we'll find another thing to do. I'm just gonna keep walking on this side and see what I can do. I think she said that they have a Jollibee here. But she said to Rita, so the kids are just like this. Jerome, look! There's the alley here. So it's perfect for you at leisure. Because if you're gonna walk, you're gonna do it a lot. 15,000 dong. So I'm buying cafe soda um, in this ano lang, sa side street. Lang siya. And I asked her, Bao new, Bao new. So, ito yung binigay sa man ng Saigon Kiss Tours kagabi. So, yan. Bao new. Bao new. Toy Muon Mua Cafe Swada. Ayan. Anyway. Yay. Ooh. It's a big one. Cool. I got water, 6,000 dong. Thank you. So this is Boon Cha. That's how they used to make the houses, I think, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. Like this is, uh, I think this is a lot of the old farming tools they would use. Mm -hmm. uh, they got fishing baskets. 
Bing What's this place called again? It's called uh, Bing Bing Foy uh, Forest Village. This reminds me of ano, uh, the Mesa Echo Park. This place is called Bin Poi Tourist Village. It's really cool and kaya madaming tao kasi tet na nila. Yung tet kasi parang Christmas nila. Yeah, so I got a grab going back to the hotel. Uh, 49,000 Vietnamese dong. So that was a really cool spot. My friend Brennan took me here. This is District 2. I'll try this place out um, before going back to the hotel because I'm quite hungry. So it went. So para siyang fast food lang for. That's cool. 61, so Fulga and then ito yung napkin nila. It was really cool trying out the puncha because hindi ko pa try it before. So it's very sour. I think the sauce is sour and um, it's just cool to try out another Vietnamese dish and then anababa. Oh, super fun. So when I was on the grab bike going here, so back to uh, District 1, uh, a local was like, hey Nick, don't put your camera out. The city is very dangerous. It's so nice of it. Today was a very humid. Today is a very humid day. So I might take a nap. And then I might edit a little bit and then go out again to Gulo tonight. Very chill last day here in Saigon. The pho is here. Yummy! I ordered a large bowl. So pho 24 is definitely a decent pho place. I like the pho that I ate there. Love you! So I also noticed how a lot of stores are closed. And I realized Sunday nga pala today, so that's closed. Close, close. So, madaming close. Okay. You'll also see a lot of fruits for sale. Pero ang nakita ko talaga is this one. Bani. I am back here sa street food market and I'm getting some squirrels. I got chicken. 45 Vietnamese dollars. 45. So, ito yung last time na kinain ko pero sumakit yung ipin ko so hindi na orderin. But it's a good um, dessert. If you like seafood, they have a lot of those. Super damn. So tired. Oh, yeah. well, I'm finally ready for dinner, guys. As in, I'm so long Um, And then I wake up to the news of the volcano erupting in the Philippines. I am crossing my fingers that um, I'll be able to fly out tomorrow. Pero wala pang advice sa pal if tuloy yung flight ko at 9.35. So I'm still waiting for updates. Um, I am just gonna head out for dinner. Medyo late na nga eh, 9 na. I am gonna look for something nearby lang. And then, last visit to Sax in Art Jazz Club. And then I'll be coming back to pack my stuff. And then I have to wake up at um, 6. So I'm wearing my romper for tonight because I don't have home. So for dinner tonight, I am here at New Leaf Estate just across my hotel and it's super nice. It's I love it. I love the vibe. So I'm ordering and I think they're going to close soon. So it's super nice here. And it's highly rated in um, TripAdvisor.
my hotel is right there, Akoya, and then dito lang yung beef steak or dito lang yung mo beef steak. So it's right across. I highly recommend it, guys. It's super yummy. 11 over 10. And look at that. It's so nice. So I got grabbed 24,000 uh, going to Saxon Art. Unfortunate news guys, my flight for tomorrow got cancelled. So apparently, um, yeah, kasi kanina, kanina lang yung pagsabog ng vulkan. Uh, anyway, um, I need to extend my stay here sa hotel for one more day or one more night. Hindi pa daw kasi sure ang pal kailan magre-resume. So I need to like pay attention and just um wait for updates so yeah today was a good day um, I had really good dinner I love that steak place oh my gosh super sarap so honestly to tell you um I am getting really really sick of Vietnamese food not that I'm like super duper sick but I think that um, I've been having it for the past what five days and yeah, medyo, I, ayoko na muna ng konti, so I need to eat other stuff. Pero I think I will never get tired of egg coffee. Vacation mode talaga is off na for tomorrow. But since I'll be staying here for one more day, um, I need to edit naman. I need to edit the vlogs. I'm not super sure if this vlog is like really long, but yeah, that is my supposedly uh, last day in Saigon. That's why we always have to be ready for the unexpected. So actually, this is the first time. Tama ba? First time ko ba to? Yeah, I think so. Nagkinatay nang yar na I had to um, extend. So it's all good. Um, it's better than getting into an accident, de ba? And I I heard that it's really bad. Um, the asphalt reached uh, the city, like BGC. Meron sa BGC, meron sa Manila, meron sa Green Hill. So it's just a widespread. Um, effect. Kaya I hope everyone stays safe and I'm just so happy that my sister is looking out for my uh, my doggy, my, my kainu. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure when work will resume. So I really hope na makauwi ako agad-agad. I mean, as soon as possible. So um, before sleeping, I need to call up the agency that booked my hotel or no, my hotel, my tickets. So I need to sort that out and then um, yeah, head to sleep. So I'll probably upload a new vlog tomorrow. Not probably. I'll upload a new vlog tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow.